this morning I've come up to me brother's field and his wife so John B Mansons and his wife Lynn and we've got Tina with us which is their daughter we're introducing the house hawk to the sheep and those horses over there the black one is a Frisian and the aim is to eventually for me to get on the horse with the hawk and have a little bit of hawking on horseback but today it's just coming up getting them both used to each other and see how we get on first time the hawk's in horses he had a little scream at the sheep and the, probably the first time the horses have seen a hawk on a human's fist rather than just flying around Ponies up to how many hands? 42. So there's that one over there, Yancia. Yep. He's a Frisian, is that right? Mm -hmm. How many hands is that one? 16 one. 16 one. And you've had a how long? Uh, nearly eight years. She's so a little Just bit unsettled. Coming. Yeah, a little bit unsettled. She's not eating. Just moved a little bit further away from the horses. Next time we come up, we might lead, lead round the field, but we'll just take it step by step until we we'll ride the horse with the horn. <laughs> I'm just going to give the horse a carrot. smell the chick that I've had on me or the chicken that's been on my hand so we're going to try this favourite food. Stop it, stop it. Psychology. 
that's what it should be like when you want something to eat. So I'm just giving him a reward. So what do you reckon? Do you think I'll end up riding that horse? No. Yeah. Over the next few weeks we'll do a little bit of interaction. Eventually we'll walk around the field. How long do you think it'll take team? Being the horseman. Realis realistically, I would say go through winter doing it. She relaxes more as a horse in the summer, and she's happier in the summer and or spring. And by then, I reckon. Well, our last flying day is the 28th of February, so it's got to be before February. The last one, yeah. So sometime. What to fly? Because you want to fly a. From the horseback. <laughs> Smell of the chicken and not the nervousness, they can just smell. Dan, Dan's really eyeballing him. He's a bit nervous. shows you though the horse didn't like it, nor do the sheep, so it's not Done. it's not a nervous thing, it's more of a, a smell of the chicken on the things. What's that one's name? I call it Skinny Marie. Skinny Marie. I'm scared though, look, she would just go straight in. Are you trying scared, to, Woody? Trying to eat, just trying to eat your um, buttons. She's quite bossy this one. What's this called? Smells muddy. Let's just see if it's this, the. This one's greedy and that one's Who's greedy. Who's the greedy one? Those two. No, they can still smell something they don't like. Try it in that. My wife keeps saying I stink. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Right. Dan's got more intelligence than you think. Marie has it. Oh, easy. Come on. <laughs> Sand just ran off like so strange. Yeah. Nice thing to do on a Sunday morning. Give a hangover. settling down now, the hawk settled down a bit, met the sheep, and now we're going to see if the horses, free will, will bring them over, yeah, rather than yeah. they make the yeah. decision. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. So the horse is making the decision. Good. So there's a the change. Alright, good girl. Food. Good girl. Good girl. It's alright. Eyeballs. <laughs> I can't be on you. Yeah, 
whistle the horse over, Kat. Come on. It's all right, it's here, look. Don't be scared. Good girl. Woody keep me still. Keep still, Woody. That's a bit of progress. Hey, Woody. Good girl, Dad. Made the eye on me. Made her own. She's made her own choice. It's all right, Woody. If, he, if the hawk was worried, he'd be panting now. He'd have his beak open. And would he flap and stuff? Yeah, he'd want to get away, but he's not. He's not stressed. He's not over keen. Thanks for letting me know. Nancy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 